What's up, guys? We're back in Athens. Roa, it's not like American. We are back in Athens. <clears throat> Monday, it's a public holiday, so no gym. It's gonna be a chill Monday. I'm currently on a walk, done 6.4 kilometers so far. We've gone to the local mini market to collect the bounty. Yeah. Just waiting for mum to come inside, she's on the phone, so that she can help me carry all the cans. And I think we're gonna be getting some other stuff. So, you know, regular Monday, come down, restock the, the house. Um, we're gonna do a workout of the house. I'm not sure what it is yet. I'll keep you guys in the loop. Other than that, I'm gonna have to find something to do for the vlog because, like I said, <clears throat> public holiday, everything's closed. I don't know why the mini market's open, but everything else is closed. So, we're gonna have to do something fun. I don't know, we'll figure something out, I hope. Might just get some whack from here to try and on the vlog and give it a review. Who knows, who knows? See y'all on the flip side. Well, I don't know when that's gonna be, at home some point. See you guys soon. Yeah, we home, if you couldn't tell. Look at, look at these beautiful things. If they melt the chocolate. You guys get the witness up flip. That was the last one. Ooh, a bit crispy. Yeah, you like that, huh? Shh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna eat my pancake. Pancake! And then, I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do a workout and you guys will see it, but I haven't found, figured out which one it's gonna be yet. My read my book a bit more. I'm almost finished. And then we can move on to the next one. Yes, hate me if you will. I read now. I'm a civilized human being. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go enjoy my food. I'll c catch you guys later when I have a rough idea of what I'm going to be doing. Like I said, today's going to be a bit messy because I haven't planned anything and nothing is open for me to go and do. Pretty annoying. Stupid. Whatever day it is. Clean Monday, I think it's called. I don't even know. Anyway. See you guys soon. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is a kite. On clean Monday, they fly kites. <laughs> I have no idea why. I have to learn and then I'll be able to tell you guys. As you can tell, there will not be a, a workout today. I don't know. It's You guys are witnessing the first ever off day of me. I'm weak today. And that's okay. <laughs> Nah, just the morale's low. So yeah, we've, uh, we've come for another walk at least. We are getting out of the house. I think it's a combination of the weather because it's just dog shit. Even though it was just so good for the whole of last week and now it's just gone back to shit. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I wasn't just gonna ditch the vlog. You guys have to see the goods and the bads. This is the bad. But yeah, we're gonna walk around on the mountain. Show you guys the view, have a little conversation together, <laughs> and then uh, I'll show you guys some dinner, I guess. This time I'll actually show you dinner as well, not like the last couple of episodes where I've completely forgotten. Might even cook together. So, see you guys when we get to the top of the mountain. It's a hill, it's not really a mountain. <laughs> yeah, guys, we made it to the top. And that little house there, wait, let me try and. Uh, that one there with the orange roof next to that grey thing. Not this little one here. The one up there. Yeah, that's my house. <laughs> you can see my house. In other news, look how depressing the world is today. Looks like it's like the apocalypse or some shit. Where's the sun, man? This is not supposed to happen. This is not supposed to happen in Athens in at this part of the year. It's supposed to be sunny and warm. No fucking death. This is like Solonicky weather. <laughs> I brought it back with me. Sorry, mom. Ah. Also, I've, I've found out what the meaning of flying the kite is, but I'll tell you when I get home. So you have to wait. Uh -huh. Makes you more interested and want to watch more of my video. <laughs> I'm learning all the tricks of being a YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, I want to leave it at that and I'll see you guys when we get home again. 
can have a little conversation about kites. Can you hear, I don't know if you guys can hear the church bell, but it's because of, you know, clean Monday, the whole starting of Lent. That's the word, isn't it? Yes. I haven't forgotten all my English. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the church bell is going off. The priest is probably blasting his tunes, preaching his prayers for the beginning of Lent. And for all of you who are going to ask, no, I'm not fasting because I need to eat because I need to get gains. So, sorry. I'm going against it. I know. I'm a bad person. I'll see you guys when I get home. Alright guys, we back home. Well, we've been home for a bit. Did go out and then I completely forgot where I was and I was just lying on the floor for a bit. I did some research though. And I found out why they fly kites on clean Monday. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll uh, read it to you guys, give you a bit of information, you know. It's just not just a, a training channel or eating channel, you know. We, we do some... Um, we teach some shit. <laughs> so the kite symbolizes the human soul flying up into the sky, free and pure. The pass, the passing of the human soul to heaven and God. Through this process, the believers are getting ready for the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the Orthodox Easter. So that's why there's like 50 million kites flying around today or on this Monday every year because it starts this... The whole process of Lent and all that stuff. But yeah, enough about that. You know, we're not going to get too much into that shit. But yeah, I thought I would just have a little chat with you guys. You know, it's a little earlier when I was on the on my walk. I said, you know, I wasn't feeling it today. So like I've said in the earlier vlogs, it's just going to be raw footage. You know, there's going to be good days, there's going to be bad days. Today is a bad day. That's fine. That's part of life. It is what it is. You're going to have good days and bad days. I'm thankful that this is the first ever bad day. So, you know, it could... I think it's because the fact that there was... That the gym wasn't open today. You know, when I do go to the gym, I use that as my outlet for all the stuff that's going on in my personal life and stuff like that. I use the gym to get rid of that negative energy or channel that negative energy and use it in a positive way. It's a little little trick that I've slowly learnt over the years. Um, but yeah, I still had, I still wanted to get out and actually do something. So I did go for those two walks. I think all up, it was like 10 kilometers throughout the day. So even though it wasn't a crazy workout or whatever, it doesn't have to be. Sometimes you can just go for it, just get out and be active for an hour, two hours a day. It's simple as that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you guys got to witness my first ever off day, which is fine. That's the whole point of it. But like I said, you just have to power through and even if you don't feel like doing it, do something. If You know, you don't have to go to the full extent. You know, there's where we, we're only human. We're not robots. So yeah, there are days where you just wake up and you're like, you know what? I actually don't want to do this. Don't want to do that. Find an alternative. Like I said. My, for, for me, the alternative was, yes, I couldn't go to the gym, I couldn't train, I could have done a workout, but I wasn't really in the mood. So instead of doing the workout at home, I went a step down and I went for two walks. You know, I still did something. Even if I didn't burn as many calories as I would on a normal Monday, I did something which is better than nothing. That's the whole point. I guess that's the whole point that I was trying to get at. Sometimes, even the smallest thing is better than... Always, not sometimes, always, even the smallest thing is better than nothing. So, yeah. But yeah, we're just chilling now. Going to read my book. A little bit more of my book. Um, I'm trying to think what else, really. Yeah, that's about it. Nothing too crazy today. Sorry for all the viewers. But hopefully it's a bit of an eye-opener for you guys as well. That, you know, life isn't always happy and smiley faces and shit like that. There are dark days too, which is fine. You just push through and try and focus for the next day. So tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow I'm going to do a double session. Stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to chill, read my book for a bit. Uh, we're going to do some cooking, so stay tuned to watch the, the Master Chef at work. Doing a 
little leftover special. So we've got a fair bit of leftovers. I'm going to try and combine something together. It'll, it'll be fun. That's probably, it'll be good to end the vlog that way. You know, it's been a bit negative and boring. So it's been like this, but then it's going to skyrocket at the end with me trying to make some something out of a lot of random stuff. <laughs> So yeah, I'll see you guys when we're in the kitchen, the best room in the house. Peace. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Val. Um, <clears throat> I need to find a good place to put you guys. That'll do. So we've just got an assortment of leftovers and we're going to try and make something amazing out of it. Some leftover tomahawk steak here. Some leftover... Rice from takeaway last night. Mmm, magnifique. Um, and then just some vegetables: capsicum, broccoli, broccoli, some mushrooms, and shallot. So yeah, I'm gonna try and piece it all together. I'm just chopping, preparing shit. Once I get that done, I'm starting cooking the pan. You guys will see it. But I thought I'd give you a rundown of what all the ingredients is so far. So yeah, it's gonna be like a meat stir fry thing, I don't know. But I put salt, so all the vegetables are in there because all well, the broccoli first because it takes ages because it's hard, so you get that soft, some water. Then I'll put in the rest of the vegetables, so mushrooms, capsicum, and shallots. Put a bit of sh uh, salt, I was gonna say sugar, no, salt. This stuff. So, I don't know, some spice that we have here, it's really good. It's like a bit chilly, so you don't have to put, instead of pepper, I use this. <clears throat> and all that, as always, ooh, the trusty garlic powder. Because it's, the, it's just the greatest. So, mix that around a bit. Probably should have got a bigger pan. But that's right, you live and you learn. show you guys what it's looking like at the moment so yeah this is what we're looking at for the moment good assortion of vegetables you know healthy stuff we're gonna cut up the meat and then put the meat in next so it's nice and warm and the rice lasts because the rice is already cooked so we'll see you guys once once i put the rice in um yeah i hope it's good it looks good so far so i'll give you a little review after So I just put the rice in, and I tell you what, it actually looks fucking nice. <laughs> I was not expecting it to look this good. So yeah, you know, you can use leftovers to make a nice meal. You don't have to cook fresh every night. So you're teaching you guys some things here. Yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like in the pan, and then I'll put it in a nice bowl. I'll show you again, but yeah. So you see you got like bits of meat in there, nice vegetables, the rice. It's looking good. But yeah, I'm gonna put it in a plate now, bowl, whatever. Leave it for a bit longer so we can get nice and warm. Put it in a bowl, show you guys, eat it, and give you guys an honest review after dinner. And um end the vlog there, I guess. So yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Anyway, I'm gonna put this in a plate, bowl, and then I'll see you guys again. The nice little plate up video. Mmm. That's good. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Plated up nice. I've actually surprised myself. I'm really proud of that. The fact that it's just made up quickly in my head. It's not just a pretty face, man. Good cook as well, you know? Wife me up. <laughs> Coke Zero, no caffeine. You know, the beverage of choice. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the little cooking experience with Val. To show you guys that you can use, reuse meals from previous days to make a really good one. You don't need to cook fresh every day. Remember that. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat this, enjoy it. Watch a movie. Get back to you guys with a review. And we'll end the vlog there. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. For you guys, it'll be seconds. For me, yeah, maybe an hour, maybe two. We'll see. See you guys shortly.
Alrighty guys, we have reached the end of another day of your favourite YouTuber, me, another day in the life, done, another vlog, completed, um, just give a quick little review on my fried rice slash stir fry, whatever you want to call it, oh, excuse me, pretty exhausted, um, I'm going to give it a solid, Eight and a half out of ten. It was good. Like everything was cooked perfectly, as you know, because I'm just the, the best. <laughs> nah, but it was good. Something a bit different. And like I said, then that way, no food gets wasted because you've reused. And you don't have to think about what you're going to cook. You basically just model it all together. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Fortunately for the rest of this time, it worked. But yeah, we're going to leave it at that. It's probably going to be a short one, this this one. Sorry about that, but yeah, the raw footage is good. It shows you guys that I actually am human. And somehow can relate on a personal level with each other. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm exhausted. I'm literally going to quickly put this all together for you guys before I go to bed so that I can upload it tomorrow morning, I think. Um... But yeah, thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment, share it around. Thank you guys for your support. I appreciate it. And if you guys ever need anything, you know where to find me. Peace. See you all on Wednesday for hopefully a better better day. But we'll see what, what Wednesday has in store for us. So, bye for now. Love you all. Peace and love. Ciao.